Is your Shopify store main menu looking like a hot mess? Then you'll want to organize it with some drop down menus. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Alicia, and here I share handy tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you build your online store. So a drop-down menu, also known as a nested or sub-menu, is where the top-level menu appears in the main menu on your online store, and the nested menu appears in the drop-down menu just below. Hence the word nested. It's a great way to organize your pages and your products into certain categories, which helps your customers better navigate your online store. Setting up your drop-down menu is actually quite simple. So let's dive straight into my computer now and I'll show you how it's done. So you can add a sub-menu to your own online store. Okay, so for today's example, I'm gonna be using the yin and yoga online store example to show you how to create a drop-down menu in Shopify. Okay, so I just wanna show you what the current main menu looks. So we'll just head over to the left here and where it's got this little I button, let's click on that. And as you can see, just for an example, I've added a whole heap of different pages. As you can see, every page on this online store has its own menu item. So we've got the products, the about us, contact us, shipping and delivery, frequently asked questions, tops, bottoms, and bestsellers. I want to organize this nicely so that there's only maybe three or four different menus and then the sub menus underneath. Okay, so let's go back to the Shopify dashboard and I'll show you how it's done. So here on your left navigation menu, you just want to go down to where it says sales channels and then online store, just click on that and it'll open up a sub menu similar to what we're creating today. So you'll find the navigations tab. Let's just click on that. And then what we want to do is we want to go to main menu. Um, you can also do the same to the footer menu but we'll just leave that as is today. So just click on main menu and as you can see we've got all our example pages listed here. So what you want to do here is you want to group pages that are similar. So for example under maybe the about us page, you would put the contact us page or the frequently asked questions page. That way they're not front and center for the customer, but also they're easily accessible. It's actually very easy to organize your sub menus. All you need to do is where it's got these six little dots here, if you hover over them, a little hand appears. And that means you can grab that item and then drag it. You can also drag each item. So if you wanted, for example, your products to be with tops, bottoms and best sellers, could just drag them up like so and then it moves each one individually so let's just do that for now so let's get so tops bottoms and best sellers we want under products and then we're gonna have our contact us and frequently asked questions and the shippings and delivery all under the about us tab I might just move the FAQs up one there we go. So now in order to create the sub menu, all you need to do is slightly drag the menu item to the right. So we'll just try that now. I'll just keep it clicked so you can see what's going on here. So if I drag it back and then drag it back to the right, see how you see that little arrow? That's indicating that a sub menu is being created. So when you let go, what will happen is it will create an indent and now that is our sub menu created. Now let's do it for bottoms. I'll just do it slowly. There we go. And now it's added to products. And now we want best sellers to add to products. Alternatively, you can add a menu item to that main menu by clicking the add menu item to products. So if you had another page you would like to connect, this is another way that you could do that. So like I mentioned before, we want contact us frequently asked questions, shipping and delivery, all under the About Us tab. So again, just click, hold and drag to the right, click, hold and drag to the right, and click, hold and drag to the right. There we go. So you can actually visually see where your sub menus will lie. So we've got home on its own, we've got products, and then the sub menus are the tops, bottoms and best sellers. I might actually put best sellers at the top. There we go. And then we've got about us, we've got contact us, frequently asked questions, shipping and delivery. So now let's scroll to the top and press save. Now that that's all saved, let's go check out our online store. So again, let's just press that I button. And there we go, a much neater main menu for our online store. So here we've got the home button 
and then we know we've got our submenus because this little arrow appears next to our pages. So you can actually click on the page, but then you can actually click on the arrow, which will create the submenu. And there we go. We've got our bestsellers, our bottoms, our tops, and then our about us. We've got our shippings and delivery, frequently asked questions and contact us. As you can see, it looks a lot more professional and is a little bit less confusing for your customer. So go ahead and have a play around with your main menu and then create these sub menus. There's not a one size fits all for all online stores. You just have to put yourself in your customer's shoes and just have a think about how they use your online store. So there you go, an easy way to simplify your main menu with a drop down menu so your customers can easily navigate your online store. I would highly recommend you adding a drop down menu if you have a high amount of products on your online store. However, using a drop down menu can also be useful if you have a few pages that you don't want to be top of mind for your customer. So for example, you could hide your shipping and delivery information under a contact us page. Alrighty, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel as I upload videos every Thursday. These videos help you build, launch and grow your online store. And if you need more help building your online store, why not check out my Shopify tutorials playlist? I'll leave a link here on the screen. And if you're looking for more help on building your online store, then why not check out my Shopify tutorial playlist? I'll leave it here on the screen so you can go check it out. Okay, bye for now.